Uh, it's Andy here from Fighters Talk TV with the nice young future prospect Giorgio Vizioli. How are you doing, pal? I'm very well, thank you. You? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Great cracking display from you the other day. Yeah. Really excited. We were jumping up and down at the TV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell us your thoughts about going through that and what, what coming out um, of the side. Very good performance from myself, I thought. Um, very happy I got the rounds in. More, I was more happy um, about that performance than the knockouts. You know what I mean? Um, I showed a bit what I can do, I showed my class, and I was sharp in there. Um, and yeah, the guy, the guy, my opponent, and it was a good opponent as well, um, six and three, tough opponent. He come to win. He was trying to caught, caught me with one or two, which is good. I, I think it's good to take maybe one or two with eight ounce on, see what you like. Um, and I and I gone past the third round as the first time as as a fighter really, you don't do that in the amateurs. Um, but yeah, no, really happy with the performance. The guy didn't let his guard down, so I had to crack him down to the body, but no, really happy with the performance. Yeah, it was a great sharp stoppage at the end yeah. of the round, wasn't yeah. it? So it was really, really cool. And so what now for you? Because obviously you're going through your opponents, you're knocking them out. Uh, you know, what's, you know what's, what's Eddie got in mind coming up, coming up for you? Obviously this is today, uh, fighting in London, first time as a pro, but just, just it's taking it slow, really. Um, obviously, I'm yeah, I'm stopping these guys, um, but I'm no one, nobody really at the moment. You know what I mean? I still gotta learn my craft, and uh, yeah, that's it really. Not much at the moment, but and it's great to be in such a good stable with Matchroom as well, because they've yeah. got a lot of fighters, a lot of young fighters, and they're really good at progressing fighters on. So, where do you sort of so come? Obviously, uh, I know we're mixing our words, but the uh, the Babbage Fisher yeah. Fisher Babbage, sorry, undercard. Any knowns of who the opponent's going to be yet? No, no, no I haven't got um, no one's told me my opponent yet. It should be coming in a few days. Um, but sh I don't want to. I don't want to. I want another good opponent like uh, like last week. Um, only brings Sean better. Um, I don't want someone who's going to stand there and take punches. Um, but yeah, no, it's good. You have a good opponent. It um, shows shows your, shows my class when I fight someone good. And um, yeah, don't know yet. Don't know opponent yet. But so I'm going to put a question to you. Yeah. Giorgio in Riyadh, how'd you see that? Me in Riyadh, um, I'm never, I'm never gonna say no to that. Um, but that's that's three years, that four, three years down the line, I think. I wouldn't say two years down the line. Well, I don't know. Tom was out there this weekend. Did you see him? Yeah, the I did see Tom. Tom I did see Tom. Yeah. Um, but no, nah, you never know. Wait, what do you mean? Like fight there or go there? Either one will do for us. I mean, to um, fight there, obviously, you're not going to turn down that sort of opportunity on a world oh, stage no, like the I'd five never, versus I'd five. Never, I'd, take, I'd never turned it down the offer ever, but I think I'd prefer it to be in, like, I think, London, that like, big stadium. I just think, I don't know, I'm not going to say it too much. Cause, <laughs> you know, but no, I'd, I'd prefer the big fights in London. I think that's where they should be. But it's not my opinion, but I'd never say no to that, uh, an offer in Saudi. Yeah, it's, it's quite. So obviously, the five versus five, what did you make of that format? It, I thought it was really, really good. Something different, yeah. a breath of fresh air. Yeah, right? it was, it, I thought it was really good. A lot, of, all the fights were good. I thought um, match from cut smokes. <laughs> got, we got beaten <laughs> real bad. And I tell you what, though, I, I was supporting on some of the Queensbury fighters. I know it sounds silly, but you want the Brit to win the world title. Why, why do you want to go a USA fighter to win? I think a Brit you want the Brit to win the world title. But no, we got really, we got real bad. We got really smoked. Um, but we need a better squad out next time. I think. And do you think that that would be a good format, do you think, moving forward? I think it's fantastic for British so. boxing and world boxing, at least. I think so, yeah. Um, yeah, it makes all the big fights happen, you see. Uh, all the fights that people want to see. And I think it's a good thing in the future as well. Yeah, definitely. Well, I, I know it's going to be a really busy day here for you at Matchroom HQ. What a beautiful setting we were just talking yeah. about a minute ago. You can tell it's uh, a Hearn's household. There's a helipad. We thought it actually meant helipad. It's, it's probably H. Yeah, how was your, how was your yeah, arrival, yeah, they, was it? They, they flew me um, from my house over here. Yeah, I got one. So. No, Sounds good. Joking, Sounds good. So one last final question before we go. Yeah. Euros coming up. Italy, England. Oh, England, England, England. That's good. Um, no, not... <laughs> Obviously, I've got my grandparents are Italian, but I'm born here. You know, uh, I'm my parent, dad's well, obviously half Italian and mum's English. But no, I will support England. But even if Italy gets a final, I support Italy. Uh, to be honest, I don't really watch that much football anymore. But I support both. I support both. But neutral. Or, or England, but England, I think they're terrible. England are terrible. Ah, oh, they're useless. Their playing style's terrible. They're just so boring. Like the only way they win is by a penalty. You see on the weekend. 
terrible team they were playing against. They can only win by a bloody penalty or whatever. A bit more. It's really frustrating. You know, as, as England, yeah. one thing you learn as an England fan, I guess, is disappointment. What it I comes like, naturally. What I like about the Italians, yeah, um, might not have the best of squads, but they, they step it up when it when they want to, and they're, they're passionate. You know what I mean? Um, you saw it every time they sing the national anthem, they're passionate, and that's what will win. I think a lot of them will get to a good stage. Passion wins a lot of the fights. A lot of the we have. Game, so. So, so, so the passion inside Giorgio Vizioli nah, is Italian rooted. Never know, maybe. I've got a bit of me. <laughs> Sounds great. Got, got the name as well. Absolutely, that's it. Well, Giorgio, it's been an absolute Thank pleasure. You, Thanks for taking the time, and Thank you. we'll see you back in the gym soon. Yep, definitely. Thank Cheers, you. Buddy. Thank you.